Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and I'm here to take a look at the epic history of the Pilots Federation. This episode forms a part of my series on all of the lore and history of the Elite Universe. The Pilots Federation is in many ways an unrivaled power within the galaxy. It is both independent and more or less completely neutral. All pilot commanders within the galaxy are members of this organization, allowing its reach to cast far and wide. Founded in 2805 after the ownership of starships had become extremely commonplace, the Pilots' Federation found itself able to collect and organize huge volumes of information. From trade routes and secret information to mutual protection schemes against pirates and other threats. The Pilots' Federation brought with it increased trust and security for the people of the galaxy, for much distrust had grown between non-pilots and ship owners. A starship brought huge freedom with it, and it was therefore very easy for a dubious starship owner to cause problems or deal in rogue trades, steal or involve themselves in other dishonorable activities. Members of the Pilot Federation are subject to strict rules and the Federation has a zero tolerance enforcement policy. This policy built immense trust for the pilots with membership, which eventually become worn as a badge. These are earned through a ranking system covering a variety of careers. However, the Pilots Federation should not be mistaken for a quiet, docile organization. Their ranking for combat is a testament to this. Each rank starts at a low entry, such as harmless for combat, penniless for trade, and aimless for exploration. A recent addition of helpless for the close quarters combat tournament has been added, although this has been met with a level of controversy among certain quarters. All careers culminate in the rank of elite to denote the pilot's level of accomplishment, proficiency, or trust. Despite such an open and clear ranking system, the Pilot Federation itself remains secretive in nature, growing to dominate the financial side of the galaxy through its Galnet data network. This network evolved from an initial collection of star charts, ship data and bounty management. Today, Galnet stands with massive infrastructure extending across the entirety of the human inhabited galaxy thus bringing the Pilots' Federation a monopoly on news, market pricing and communication. Within the Pilots' Federation itself, a number of close-knit organisations have grown. These are often all but impenetrable to new members, with exceptions to those who hold the extreme membership requirements. The two most notorious of these organisations are the Dark Wheel and the Elite Pirates' Federation the later being comprised purely of those who hold the rank of elite. The purpose of this particular group is to exploit the benefit of their rank to the utmost degree. However, in recent times, the increase in organized piracy and the huge demand for their services has caused this suborganization to open its doors to the ranks of deadly, and then further opening the group to a lower rank. As it currently stands, the Elite Pilots Federation is open to the ranks from elite to dangerous. Unlike nearly all other groups and organizations, the Pilots Federation has remained aloof from tying itself to any system, with the lone exception of Shinrata Desra, the Founder's World. A place accessible only to those with the elite rank or to those select few with the status of Founder. This system is governed by the Pilots' Federation and run exclusively for the benefit of their members. It is also home to the Dark Will, who have a legendary and some would say perhaps mythical history. As a testament to the galactic status of the Pilots' Federation, Shinrata Desra is one of the few systems that cannot be exploited by any of the powers. For many, it is with the Pilots' Federation that their adventures into the galaxy truly began. It is an organization that for 500 years has had far-reaching impact across the galaxy, from the lone pilot to the reliance upon its services by the Federation, the Empire and the Alliance alike. For many, the Pilots' Federation could perhaps be considered the modern bedrock for human civilization. Check out my YouTube channel for the epic history of the Federation, the Empire and the Alliance. 
and be sure to check back regularly for all the future law related videos. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time. The Federation is one of three major factions within human occupied space. The other two are the Alliance and the Empire. The Federation is the oldest of these major factions, these superpowers that control everything. But to truly understand the Federation, we need to begin at the start of humanity's foray into the stars. The first 100 years of the 21st century marked huge progress into space. In 2020, the first commercial space station went live. And within just 10 years,